Hey, welcome back to the Mods YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk turtles. Welcome back to the Museum of Discovery and Science. We are currently standing in our Ecoscapes exhibit here. And today I am joined by a very good friend of mine, our marine turtle permit holder and turtle nerd, Brenda. How you doing, Brenda? I'm fantastic. How are you? I'm great. So I see all this cool stuff here and I know we're going to talk turtles. A lot of the things that I've learned in my time here has been through you. Um, so thank you for that. So Brenda, here in Florida, we do have sea turtles and I know that people get very excited during nesting season. What, when, when is nesting season for our sea turtles? So nesting season st technically starts March 1st, but mama turtles don't always get the memo and sometimes they start even earlier. This year we had the earliest nest on record with a leatherback nest in mid-February. So here in Florida, people get very excited when nesting season actually does happen. I guess the question is, what happens? Like, um, are they allowed to watch them nest on the beach? Is there, who do I go to? Where can I find out to go see these turtles nest on the beach? That's a great question because everyone should have the opportunity to see a nesting sea turtle, but it's important to do it in the right way. Uh, we offer our very own sea turtle walks here at the museum um, throughout June and July. And this allows you to see a nesting sea turtle in its habitat within a safe and proper uh, distance from the turtle so that we don't disturb mama. Awesome. And on those sea turtle walks, what kind of turtle would visitors normally see? We get to see a loggerhead sea turtle. We get to observe one turtle at night and um, while chances are we may see other species of turtles, by permit, we're allowed to see one loggerhead turtle. And so I'm, I'm looking at this nest over here. So this is about the size of a uh, loggerhead's egg. It's about a ping pong ball, correct? So when they're born, about how big would you say they are? They're pretty small. Um, when loggerheads are born, I would say they're about that big. Okay. So oddly enough, here at the museum, we have a resident loggerhead sea turtle. What can you tell me about George? George is one of our favorite residents here. He's our education ambassador. Uh, we know he's approximately about a year and a half old. And when he grows to about 49 centimeters, which is approximately a juvenile size for a loggerhead, we'll be able to release him into the wild. That's awesome. So I know that the question for viewers is, you know, like, okay, we talk about they're small and their egg, and then they're only this big, and they can see George right here in the, in the tank behind us. He's about, I would say, this big. How big do they grow? Loggerheads, although they're the smallest of our nesting sea turtles, they can get up to, I would say, a couple hundred pounds very easily. So I, 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 I see that you brought something for us. Oh! So what is this? So this is a loggerhead carapace, or its shell. The carapace consists of what we call scoots, which are basically keratin sheets. And the number and the arrangement of these scoots can tell us which type of sea turtle they are. And is this about a full-size turtle right here, like or turtle shell? That's a good size loggerhead. It's, um, we know that it's an adult when it reaches 90 centimeters or over. So here in Florida, on our beaches, lots of people come through, tourists, uh, visitors, uh, residents. What is the most important message you would give them um, in terms of sea turtle awareness about our beaches? The, the first and foremost thing is to leave the beaches better than you found them. I think that's important for sea turtles and any other marine life that we have here in Florida. And what about the whole plastic thing? Like how, how, would, you, how would you address something like that? I would say pick up your plastic. Try and reduce your use of single use plastic. Um, turtles think this is jellyfish when it gets into the water. And I'm assuming they love to eat jellyfish. Leatherbacks and all sorts of turtles love jellyfish. Awesome. So weird question, Brenda, but why are you wearing that light on your head? Glad you asked. During our sea turtle walks in the summertime, uh, the red light is better than a white light for nesting sea turtles and hatchlings that might be coming out. Awesome. All right, Brenda, so I also noticed you have two skulls here. Can, can you help me understand why they're here and how that helps you identify the difference between the two? One of the characteristics of a loggerhead is its massive skull. Um, as you can see here, this is a replica of a loggerhead sea turtle skull, and this is a green turtle skull, which is a much bigger turtle with a very much smaller head. So you're telling me that even though the loggerhead is smaller than the green, it still has that much bigger of a head than a green sea turtle? 
Loggerhead turtles are typically smaller than green turtles, and part of the reason for this massive head is because they have such muscular jaws that allows them to crush things like mollusks and different types of sea life that they eat. Sometimes they eat better than I do. All right, thank you, Brenda. I appreciate that. And if you folks enjoyed, we'll see you again next time. Hey, we want to thank the Bachelor Foundation for sponsoring this today. And if you liked what you saw, make sure you subscribe below.